This is what you call a ghetto life. Mm -hmm. And smoke him with one. No, any oh wine gun. Hey. Oh with that man. Any wine gun, me go on team done. All today is Sunday. It's like all 24 of us there right here. You see that? See that rock there? Which rock? That jump one. Off there. You jump off that rock? Oh my. So hold on, so it's deep right there? Yep. Uh, <laughs> so that when you conquer your fears. You next? Mm -mm. What do you mean? No. <laughs> what do you mean? No. No. Will I see you go down? No. <laughs> No. Not my type. Yeah, I take this over the beach any day of the week, man. I can anger the roots, not yeah. calling the beach. Yeah, I know. Like a, that is a thousand feet down. A thousand? No, it's not a thousand feet. Two. Probably like twelve. Money in the river. Namesake. It's my great great grandfather's land. Name the river. No, 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 my selector. So I'm sitting on right the farm owned by my dad, right? Alley down. That's Alicia, Edson, and Donovan. That's all his three kids growing up drunk off Appleton, which is my ancestry name. Slave name or not. Walking on the land of my ancestors for at least 200 years. And I'm just sitting here just wondering, like, damn, what's my legacy? Who I'm going to be? I appreciate understanding who I am. When I say I know my father, like, not the fact that my father created this and my father is right there, but I know who I am. I know. No, we are not going back to that rock with. You know me? I yeah. am the original Dan Tana. You understand the road, boy? You know I rock with Bumba Clad. I'm going to get the wild, I'm going to get the wild. I'm going to get the wild, I'm going to get the wild. I'm going to get the wild, I'm going to get the wild. I'm going to get the wild, I'm going to get the wild. I'm going to get the wild, I'm going to get the wild. When I say that my dad grew up to be a cowboy, so I'm stuck with being a doctor or lawyer and such, I mean it. My dad had one goal. He went to have a farm in Jamaica on the land that he grew up on. Chickens, pigs, bar and grill where he gets to jerk pork and jerk chicken. Listen to cowboy music and play dominoes. That was it. It's over and done. Like bourgeoisie leadership in both Africa and the Caribbean, they don't have to live with the consequences of the economic decisions they make. I love Jamaica for so many different reasons, man. The culture, the food, the women, the dancing, the environment, just the overall hustle and bustle of making it happen. When I was in Jamaica, a part of me got rubbed the wrong way, like, where is Jamaica heading? Yeah, we for progress. Yeah, we for advancing in, in the world's aspect of what modern technology is. But that advancement is just so people can walk around on smartphones just to increase the self-hate of colorism and bleaching of skin and exploitation of black and Jamaican culture. That I'm not for that. Are we sitting here just trying to walk around with advancements in food so we can have chicken and broccoli in Jamaica just so we can increase and build up the Chinese economy because of the the unfair loans and tariffs they've, they've, they've put on our country, basically like colonizing on some neo-colonialism type shit. So my question really is, is like, yeah, Jamaica's moving forward, but is it moving forward for the better? Chinese pretty much own Jamaica. I mean, the Jamaican government is giving them concessions, land concessions, they're building hotels, beach resorts, uh, they're building two schools for, for the Japanese, excuse me, for, for the Jamaicans. And what the Jamaicans have to give them in turn is the right to certain lands, the right to certain waterways. And if it doesn't stop, Jamaica, ironically, the land of Marcus Garvey and Bob Marley will be the first Chinese colony in the Caribbean.
And then a serious thing. Me I beg the man when we are do the killing, stop killing innocent woman them, cause woman bring with you them. All who agree with me a while ago and respect woman said chip chip cherry yo. Chip. The question is yes. We oftentimes wait for other cultures and other people to bring value to what we do and what we have, whether it be as a culture or as an individual. Well, and and we don't take value in it until but sometimes we don't else even know what it. we have. But I guess that's my question. How can we see value in other people and other cultures before we can see it in ourselves? Why is that the case and how do we change that? Because I'm going to st step out and say we're not educated enough. And I don't mean book education. It's the same thing when somebody goes, Mwanga America. Mm -hmm. Stay right here. This is more beautiful than America. America came to touch this. But just because of, 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 of the... The, the mindset of America is better. Right. America is better. They, they're, right. more, they're more advanced in right. technology and all of that. And you know, right. I come to the U.S. and all I do is work. Right, right, right. I work from the morning to the night and I never see my children anymore. So you guys, so what? Yeah, at night. Right. I come yeah, to night. the U.S. Right. and I come all I do is work. I work from the morning to the night and I never see my children anymore. I work from the morning to the night and I never see my children anymore. My parents had reggae music. That's it. That's all I grew up listening to, whether it was Barris Hammond, whether it was Garnet Silk, whether it was um, Bob Marr, whoever it was, it was just reggae music. So I always wanted to find a reggae song that I could really flip into. Uh, come on. Yeah. Uh, with your boy. Yeah. Is the American dream really over? Like, I think, like, I'm first-generation American. Like, within my mom and my father, like, we, me, my brother, and my sister, first one's born in America. And my dad has made a plan to go back to Jamaica, retire, invest, build a farm, build a business, because he's just like, what did I come to America for? And it makes me think, is the American dream over? The irony of, like, being such a dipset fan with the cultural diffusion is, like, Diplomatic Immunity. That was the name of their album. But I wish my country... I wish Jamaica had diplomatic immunity to the extent of like not having to deal with the loans and the tariffs and the neo-colonialism which is going on right now. Why do we value other things more than we value ourselves? Like, is that self-hate? Is that racism? Like, what does that look like? So when I made this, I know my father is the importance of understanding. Like, I know my father, like I know my God, but I know my father within my flesh and my soul. And at times I still feel lost. So the question is... Are we ever supposed to be found? Is this what life is supposed to be? Just experiences pain and the process of growing. I grew up in the Dipset era. I love Dipset to this day. But it makes me wonder, like, even with the whole Maury scene, like, I'm not the father and seeing Joel's walk around with American flag on. It's just like, yo, like, being programmed to feel like I'm American. Or being programmed to feel like, yeah, I'm cool being my baby father. I had my father in my life my whole life. And I used to feel less of a black man because I couldn't tell the single mother struggle story. And I know that sounds crazy, but that's the narrative which was like force fed to me. I felt like I had it too easy because I could actually call my father, look him right in his face and see the same nose I have that he had and feel like... Just take the time out, man. You gotta understand who we are. We can't value ourselves if we don't know our legacy. Let go big chore. My ancestors weren't just slaves. They drew holographics in caves and could tell that the river was gonna overrun based on the sun's rays. Now we struggle to raise sons because we don't rise to the occasion to overturn a system that values sense more than sense. How is life fun when there's still rays burning in the sun? I know my father, and I'm still lost, but I'm realizing that I may never know how much my freedom costs. All we want to do is take the chains off, all we want to do is break the chains off, yeah. Every day, I get to do something that nobody's ever did. I get to be me, and you get to be